So if you're seeing this part of the video, then you, my friend, are in luck as this part of the video is going to be deleted in seven days when I announce the winner of this heat brush that I'm reviewing right here in this video, the Aberlite Pocket. All you have to do, comment down below, make sure you are subscribed. That is all you have to do. Let's get right into the review. Hello and welcome to my review of the Aberlite Pocket Beard Straightening Heat Brush. It is so good to see you here. So there's many companies out there it's a, there's a constipation of options <laughs> that are, many companies are trying to make compact heat brushes that are good for travel, that, um, you know, you can actually style your mustache with without it interfering with, uh, you know, the beard and messing this all up, splitting the underlip too much. It's, it's a mess. And the, the thing is, uh, you don't know what's quality. And Aberlite is very, very quickly becoming my favorite company in terms of uh, these types of products. Styling products and things of that nature. I've tried three of their heat brushes and each one of them has maybe one or two things that I would go, oh, maybe uh, tweak that a little bit. But apart from that, they, they are solid, just excellent brushes that are made in-house. They're made by a bearded man for a bearded man just in general, you know that you are buying quality. Regardless if you agree with the actual price point, uh, this right here is $39.99. I have a discount code actually for you down there. Uh, Hazar for 10% off. So for this one specifically, I think that's a really, really good price because it, it's actually, in terms of pure functionality, in my opinion, it actually works better than the Aberlite Go. The Aberlite Go, of course, is a cordless beard straightener that I reviewed the other day. And um, it, it's, it's an excellent brush, but this thing is really, really, really powerful. Like if you want a really permeating and powerful straightening ability. This is great. It's also a great starting brush because uh, what you're essentially getting is, uh, you know, a, a really high quality brush at a low price. And it, it's really the debate of, am I actually going to use it in the long term? Because sometimes people get a heat brush or they're, they're hesitant to get one because it's like, I, am I actually going to use it regularly or am I just going to like keep it somewhere or throw it out or whatever and just go back to the blow dryer because I just don't feel like getting it. If you're on, if you're in that area, then something like this is really, really good. Other things in this price range, there are a lot of them are just garbage. <laughs> Simply put, they are garbage. Like my other heat brush I bought for $30 you compare one to the other, like the other just, the, the plastic's cracking, uh, uh, like it's, it's burning me constantly. It's uh, night and day, night and day, seriously. Um, and the fact that Aberlite is delivering quality like this at such a low price point is incredible. Another thing I like about this is uh, the heat up time is pretty damn good. Uh, it's it's not like, you know, the, the best thing in the world. It takes about two and a half minutes to get up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but typically I don't put it on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. My beard isn't coarse enough to, to go there. Just in general, I don't really recommend for you to go that high anyway. Uh, so if you're just going to 360, then uh, it's just going to take, you know, a minute and a half or something like that, which is, which is pretty good. The Aberlite Go heats up just a bit quicker. And, but uh, it, it, what's really nice about this, it, it gives you a true indication when it has indeed heated up because the, the temperature actually rises. You, you can physically see it rise as it's, you know, you can see the numbers increase on the actual uh, little uh, digital display here, which is really, really nice. The Aberlite Go, on the other hand, you couldn't really tell. It just kept on blinking. It has three settings. This has more than three settings, which is nice as well. Um, but this gives you a true indication when it has heated up. So. You know, you take a sh you take a shower, you start brushing your teeth, uh, you know, turn it on. it will be done in two minutes. It's uh, it's fine. You can leave your beard pretty wet for a longer period of time. You don't have to worry about. Oh no, it's, I have to style it right out of the shower. I used to think that. Um, recently, I've been uh, um, realizing it's not super super important. I mean, it is to a certain extent, but you know, you can you can leave it for uh, two to five minutes, and it should be fine out of the shower. Uh, one thing I'm not a super big fan about, uh, which uh, the other Ambilite models like really, really excel in, is 
This I have felt, uh, you know, pretty spicy, uh, little stings on my skin, just slightly. N nothing even uh, approximating what I felt, what I felt with like my in fashion heat brush. Um, but you know, like I, I, I think it's just fair to say that maybe the uh, the plastic uh, guardings on the um, uh, on the bristles just isn't as uh, well well made as the Everlight Go. The Everlight Go, I feel nothing. I feel nothing. Um, also, just in general, the uh, like the, the brush itself get, uh, it gets pretty hot. Um, it's not it's probably not a huge thing to be worried about, but you know, just um, putting it out there. It is a lower quality brush. It is thirty nine ninety nine, and it's I think it's one of their earlier models as well. So they were still trying to kind of figure things out. Um, they actually have the Aberlite Pro coming out uh, very very soon. I'm not gonna tell you anything about it quite yet, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. Lastly, one of my favorite things about this is its its size is really, really nice. And also, the swivel cord is a game changer. It uh, keeps the cord from tangling up, and the size allows for you know a proper mustache styling. Uh, also, what I like to do is I like to really isolate the cheeks. You know, you can't do that with a lot of bulkier ones. You know, you isolate the top layers of the cheek line. You can bring it down without in interfering with all of this. It's really, really nice for that, for precision styling, if you will. And something I've been doing is, you know, just going on the outside and brushing out like this, just getting a really, really nice wide beard style. I've been digging it. So if uh, this uh, resonated with you in any way, if this is something you feel like you need, which I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, in general, I would say the Amberlight Go trumps this in pretty much every single way, instead, uh, apart from pure functionality, right? Um, the Amberlight Go, again, is great. This is more powerful, in my opinion. Um, but of course, the Aberlite Go is cordless. The Aberlite Go, uh, you know, it heats up a little bit quicker. It's it's a little more sturdy. Uh, you know, it's uh, it, it doesn't feel hot. Uh, no stings, things of that nature. So Aberlite Go trumps this in pretty much every way, uh, especially like especially the cord. The cord is a game changer with the Aberlite Go. Um, the cords, even though this is a swivel, um, you know, I'm kind of over them. Uh, so I don't use this as nearly as much as my Aberlite Go. But again, great beginner brush. Uh, and also in, in terms of pure functionality, like it's a beast. It is an absolute beast. So go check out the link down in the description there. If you buy from that link, I do get a small commission. So if you want to help out the channel, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And use the code Hazar for 10% off at checkout. Thank you so much, lads. If you like this review, please like, share, subscribe, and just have a wonderful freaking night. See ya.